District 18, Alan Hunter, are you here? Kara Gormley Meadow. Um, we'll hear first then for, from Douglas Ford on behalf of our Palmer. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Senator Cromer apologizes for not being here. He had some minor surgery last week and still recovering from that. Uh, but we expect him to be back up to full strength by the end of the week. But uh, I just want to tell you a little bit about uh, Senator Cromer and uh, let you know why, um, why he's in the race. Uh, as many of you know, he grew up uh, right here in District 18. And he, uh, he's a lifelong resident of Senate District 18. He went to Mid-Carolina High School, graduated from USC, had got his degree in pharmacy. And when he got through the pharmacy school, he went back to Prosperity and started working for a local pharmacist there. And saved up enough money, he was able to start his own pharmacy. And he still owns a pharmacy now in Prosperity. In 2012, Senator Cromer introduced several bills that I think uh, everyone in this room uh, would be happy to support. Uh, first was the immigration bill. It was an Arizona-style immigration bill. Most of that bill was adopted into what finally became law. He also introduced the uh, 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 Accurate uh, Expenses Act, which, or, or introduced that, I should say, which means that uh, legislators must get reimbursed on their actual expenses. They don't get a set per diem or housing fee they, if they have to turn in uh, actual receipts for that. Uh, the other thing that he introduced was uh, the um, value-based budgeting bill. The value-based budgeting bill means that every five to seven years, every agency and every budget would be reviewed, and they would go through and make sure they were operating on their mission and within their budget and making sure they, wouldn't have, they weren't having mission creep or that they weren't inefficiently using the money that the state was giving them. Uh, Senator Cromer is very much supporting uh, limited government. He has voted for transparency at every opportunity. He actually introduced the Senate version of the Spending Accountability Act uh, which is the roll call voting and he is uh, also uh, supporting the um, uh, all the other uh, transparent initiatives uh, including the um, um, well I mean, I'm, I'm sorry I mentioned the uh, uh, spending uh, spending accountability act uh, but uh, if you have any questions about Senator Cromer uh, please uh, stop by and ask me or Mark Noop who is here uh, to uh, any questions you have, go to ronnycromer.com. Thank you. Thank you.